Good morning. Today we'll be chatting about another resistance artist, Sue Williamson. And she was born in England, but her family immigrated to South Africa in 1948. And she has been practicing as a South African artist and cultural theorist uh, for the majority of her life. She uses her work as a way to highlight the plight of marginalized people. She was trained as a printmaker that is synonymous with photography, installation and video work too. Her oeuvre shows her incessant desire to act as a civil activist. And even though she is still practicing the skill today, for this chapter we will focus primarily on her protest art created during the years of apartheid. The work we are looking at is a series called A Few South Africans that was made in 1983. It is a, a series of photo etching slash screen print collages. Williamson created a series of works that drew attention to the seminal female figures that helped during the apartheid struggle. These women were often swept under the rug and their influence in the struggle for democracy was not noticed. The series comprises of 17 postcard sized prints that were made using a central photograph etching of a particular female within her surroundings. A layered silkscreen frame was then placed around each one, elevating the status of a small snapshot into a uniquely framed artwork. The fact that these were then actually distributed as postcards made them easily accessible and spread intrigue into the lives of these female protagonists. At the bottom of each postcard appears the name of the person, giving a name and a face to the freedom fighters. Again, this is an example of an artwork that is removed from the staid traditions of gallery exhibit and questions the notions of high art in order to communicate to a wider audience and cause social activism. As far as possible, Williamson tried to take her own photographs of each individual, allowing her to actually connect with them one-on-one. -on -one. However, she sometimes had to resort to images found in the press to complete the work. If we look at some examples, there's an image of Helen Joseph. Helen Joseph was one of the lead proponents in the Women's March to abolish the needs for females to carry passes in 1956. She was placed under house arrest for the duration of 10 years in the 60s and had to escape bullets shot through her window and a bomb wired to her gate. Virginia Mnoma, who had a big role to play in the 1957 Alexandra bus boycott, in which people refused to use this mode of public transport due to proposed price hikes. The boycott was successful and fees remained the same. Nokukanya Lutuli, wife of ANC president Albert Lutuli, who helped him in his pursuits and aided in his being awarded a Nobel Peace Prize for his non-violent resistance during apartheid. And finally, Maria Makeba, famous vocalist and musician. Makeba took news of apartheid abroad when she gained fame. She was then exiled for 30 years as a result and was not even permitted to attend her own mother's funeral in South Africa. So as you can see, these works were distributed freely because they were postcard size. So it was a way to get the names of these freedom fighters out there to the public. And so we see it almost as a, a soft resistance, but more vocalizing of these individuals' voices. So who they were, what they were fighting for. People started asking questions when they saw these images. And that is really how Sue Williamson chose to create her resistance art. So although we don't see images of violence, we know that the stories behind these females' lives was quite violent. And very often they had to compromise their own livelihood for the betterment of our country.